slight change of subject for tonight, um, but it does concern empathy. So I, uh, I'm going to post a link to an article, or actually a, a bunch of letters which were published um, by uh, the Independent. Um, uh, the Independent is a publication in the UK, and they concern some letters <coughs> by a 19-year-old soldier who was sent over to Afghanistan, you know, to to do his thing. And he had anticipated that perhaps, you know, he, may not, he might not make it out there. And he might not come out of it alive. And um, he, he didn't. Uh, on June the 2nd, um, he got killed. And I will read you some excerpts uh, from this last letter to his parents, which, of course, is quite emotional, as you might imagine. So, um, I'm not a professional broadcaster, but I'm not a callous person either. So, um, bear with me for, um, for a few moments when I, when I start reading this. And I want you to continue reading it after I stop reading some of the excerpts. And I also want you to read some of the comments regarding this article. And I'm going to post a very pertinent link to that article, which includes the original letters uh, but also the comments which come after that. Dear Mom, Hello, it's me. This is going to be hard for you to read, but I uh, write this knowing every time you think shit gets too much for you to handle, so please don't cry, Mom. You can read this and hopefully it will help you get through it. For a start, Shit, oh, I got hit. Now, um, hopefully I've made it clear, or if I haven't, uh, 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 or if I haven't, this should be clear uh, for all time. My whole life, you've been there for me through thick and thin, uh, a bit like a wedding, uh, through good and bad. Without you, I believe I wouldn't have made it as far as I have. I died doing what I was born to do. I was happy and I felt great about myself. Although the army was sadly the ending of me. It was also the making of me, so please don't feel any hate towards it. One thing, um, <clears throat> one thing I have not made clear to you all was I made jokes about my life starting in the army. Uh, that was wrong, very wrong. My life began, began before the army, a long time before that. And it's a long letter, you know, I won't read you the whole thing. You have to actually make the effort to read it for yourself. And um, he goes on to, uh, to comfort those um, who uh, will be mourning his death, of course, since he's kind of anticipating that something might ha might happen to him. And he says, I want each and every one of you to fulfill a dream and at the end of it, uh, look at it, what you have done or completed and feel the accomplishment and achievement I did, only then will you understand how I felt when I passed away. So, you know, he makes many tributes to his family members and so on. It's very serious. This is not, uh, uh, this is not, I'm not trying to make fun of this letter in any, um, uh -huh, in any way. Um, so he ends his letter with, he ends his letter with the caption, uh, remember, chin up and head down. Love, Cyrus. So, the comments, of course, then come in regarding the readers who have read this letter. And I will chime in as well, because the publication of these particular letters are... Um, are to be taken twofold. One thing, for one thing, um, you can learn uh, some empathy from those letters, particularly amongst family members and those that you know, 
This is a very, very serious thing and should never, never be laughed at or taken lightly. On the other hand, this young man, um, in my estimation, didn't even know why he was there. And he, he didn't know his potential, so he didn't know about his real dreams. Yet, after all, he was only 19. And hopefully his parents published those letters in order to bring that kind of a message across. But after, you know, news publications can distort all sorts of things. So I don't know what they're... I have no idea what their motivations were for publishing those letters. And as I say, you need to read the whole thing, and it's probably going to take you um, probably maybe 15 minutes, and it's going to be a pretty heartbreaking experience to read all this. But um, something has to something has to be said about this, because meanwhile, back home, some uneducated boys joined the military in hopes of becoming a man, just like this young man. Meanwhile, back home, somebody waves another flag with one hand and swigs a beer with the other. Meanwhile, the guy digging the grave is wondering if he will have enough to come payday to go to a game and have a few beers at the pub the week after that. Meanwhile, at the factory that makes ammunition for the troops, the foreman tells his crew that things are looking up and that there are plenty of orders to fill, so not to worry about layoffs and further shutdowns. Meanwhile, a military man with lots of brass and braid is getting a promotion for his efforts uh, in the war, and even though he has never seen the war or left his home country to start with, his work will be touted as truly heroic and in the best example of his nation's military. Meanwhile, at the celebration of the military man, or for the military man, the a local elected politico is being handed the campaign contribution or a weekend getaway for him and anyone he can find to join him in appreciation for his opening remarks that make the war sound so good and heroic and only the death of a hero who must be avenged for being killed as of dire need. Meanwhile, a youth dressed in rags and, uh, uh, and something else from life and hard times with no real future to look forward to, hearing of the heroic actions of a few men dressed in other rags who are fighting um, in Allah's name and for revenge to right the wrong done to his tribe by other tribes and foreigners, is handed a beat-up old rifle with some 30-year-old rounds and told, go and be a man. Another comment. The poor boy doesn't question the reason he was there. That and his spelling skills and language paint a rather bleak and sad picture. These are people that the elite prey on and use for their exploits. How is this poor boy different from the poor brainwashed suicide bombers? How tragic This fine young man, nor his family, will ever know that he died for the elites and not for some greater cause. Read those articles or read the letters. Good night.